Hi, uh, this is Mahesh Ravi and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at um, a very simple character rigging process using After Effects and a plugin called Duik Basel 2. So Duik Basel 2 is fundamentally free for you to use but um, there are paid plans or donations that you can make um, to download this and it's fairly easy to get started with it, right? So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to uh, the plugin and acquire it, right? So let's go to search for Duke Basel 2 and you can go to this link here and you can download this. It's a very, very easy way to rig a character in After Effects. So you can see all the features of this here and you can click download. So when you go to download, it's a free and open source software, but it'll, you know, you can always contribute to it. So you can go to your downloads and you can start downloading the uh, plugin. So it basically comes in as a zip file with uh, a JavaScript extension. So all you have to do is once your download is finished, you have to, if you're using a Windows, you have to go to program files, Adobe, uh, locate After Effects plugin, uh, you know, script UI panel folder and drop this file that you have downloaded into that. If you're using a Mac, you can also go to um, Applications, Adobe, uh, find script UI panel and paste the Duik Basel uh, JavaScript extension file into it. And that's it, right? The your installation is done. Now, if you open After Effects, you can find the plugin in window and you can find the plugin right here. So let's get started with it. So what we're gonna do is we'll create a new composition, change the background color to white, and click OK. So we have we have this right now. I'll just show you uh, two ways to work with it. We'll just work with some shapes for you to understand how this whole plugin works. And we'll import a character and let's see how that works. So let's create um, some basic shapes. So I'm going to take the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to draw uh, a couple of rectangles. So let's take the fill color and make it into uh, blue. Right now we don't need a stroke. So let's turn off the stroke. Click OK. So we have this uh, in here. Right, we have the shape layer. Uh, maybe we can add a couple of more layers here. So I'm going to just add one more layer in here and maybe one more. So we basically have three shapes in here right now. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take uh, the layer. We are going to create some puppet pins, right? So for this plugin to work, it's the best way uh, the, the way that it works the best is to create some puppet pin, pins. So I'm going to take the puppet pin and I'm going to create some puppet pins here. So I'm going to create one here. I'm going to create one here. And I'm going to create the last one right here. So we have three puppet play, pins that we created right now. So uh, we can always go expand this, go see the content, and we can, you know, select the puppet pins as well. So if you click on this, you can select all the pins. So I'm gonna hold shift. I'm gonna select all the puppet pins that we have here. Let's go to window and click on Duik Basel plugin and let's let it open up. So when it opens up, <clears throat> you're gonna get this window and you can see the first option here is called rigging. So let's click on this and we have something called rigging. Right. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to click on add bones, right? The first thing that we are going to do is to add bones. So we have to make sure that our puppet pins are selected and we're going to click add bones. And now what we can see is that there are bones which are added to all the pin points of the pins that we have dropped, right? So this is a good thing to start. We have done that. And now we have to create an inverse kinematic rig. We have to auto rig the file. So we're going to take all of this. So we're going to select all of these together. And we're going to come here and we're going to click on auto rig now uh, you can see that if, if you select the controller it is rigged right so the whole uh, shape that we've created is rigged right now so uh, this is how basically the bones and rigs work or this is how the plugin works it's a really really interesting way to create some beautiful animations you can also see there are some options that loads up here you can decide whether it should auto stretch. So if you, uh, you know, disable it, and if you come to the um, controller here, so it will not stretch beyond the actual, uh, you know, uh, volume of the shape that you have created. It's really, really useful. So if you 
enable that, the shape is also going to stretch. So if you're creating a cartoon character, this is how it should be. So um, let's say, so this is how it works in a normal scenario. Let's see how this works when you have a character imported. So now uh, let's start a new composition here and we'll bring in a character from outside. We have that here. Let's take it to After Effects. Let's go to Project. Let's bring our character that we just downloaded. So let's go to Download. We have it. Click it. Open. Drag it here. So we have the character right here. So what we are going to do here also is the same thing. We are going to create the puppet points for this character. So let's create it uh, for this arm, right? So we're going to start by creating the first point here, second point, third point. Let's create some points here as well. So we'll create a point like this. We'll create one. We'll create one. Let's repeat the steps here also. One here, one here. Let's do it here, here, and here. So we, and we'll create one for the head as well. So we have all the puppet prints uh, created. Right. So you can keep, you can select all the puppet points by dragging and selecting them. So all the puppet points or all the puppet pins are selected right now. We are going to go to our plugin, Duik Basel 2 or Duik Basel 2. I don't know how it is pronounced. So we have it right now and click on the um, rigging. Let's add bones, right? So we're going to click on bones and bones are added to all these points, right? Now what we're going to do is we are going to select all the bones here. So we have all these bones which are created right now. Let's select all the bones, right? Right from here, shift, select all the bones and click auto rig. So it will take some time depending on how much uh, bones that you have and all that. So now you can see that there is this controller pin, which basically functions like how, uh, you know, your character should be controlled, right? So you can now select these bones and animate these characters. Remove the arm of the character like this, right? Uh, I can select each of the points and I can basically create a very interesting rig sort of create keyframes and animate it. So I'm just gonna say that it just goes from here to here. And this is how to get started. I'm not gonna talk about the actual rigging process. It, it is going to take a lot of time. You need a lot of patience to do this, but this is just to give an idea how to get started with this. Play around with it and you will have a lot of fun and you can create your own animated characters. I'll see you with another video soon. Till then, bye.